Hi, everyone, and welcome to a software success. I'm Ashley Jones, and you guys know here we talk about all things Dime software. This particular live is devoted to helping you learn your programs to their fullest so that they can be helpful for you. I love my software and I love to convey that and hope that you guys will all love your software as much as I do. So we've got an exciting program as usual um, today, something quite simple, but more powerful than you think. Um, so we'll be talking about that, but let's see who's here and uh, say hi while we're waiting on a few more people to join. So tell me over in the chat where you're watching from. I already see uh, lots of familiar um, names and am excited to have all of you guys here. So, hey, Laura, thanks for joining. So Laura's um, always here with us. So I appreciate her support. So Julie, also a frequent flyer. Thanks for joining Julie. Uh, Teresa, thanks for joining Teresa from Windy Rainy, Ohio. So good to see you. Linda Johnson, thank you for being here um, as always as well. Good to see all of you guys. So i um, got South Carolina in the house. Thanks for joining Pam, uh, Brenda from Grand Prairie, Texas. So not too far from our home office in Dallas. So you guys know Dawn uh, Chase from Creative Applicates. Thanks for being here, John, Dawn. Good to see you. So hey, my friend Trista Cox from Houston, uh, Conroe area. Thanks for being here, uh, Trisha. So good to see you. So hey, Joyce L. from Rochester, New York. My friend, Bet. Thanks for being here, Bet. Good to see you from Arizona, Phoenix area. So lots of people joining. Thank you all for being here. Um, I certainly appreciate the uh, support. And also, I love that you guys want to learn your software. So you guys know I love it. I can't live without my software. And I really just love um, anybody that wants to know more about it, for sure. So hey, Rain, uh, waiting on snow. Ooh, Rain, it's a little late, right? So good to have you here. You guys know Rain from Embroidery Garden. So thanks for being here, Rain, while you're waiting on the snow. Um, thanks for being here, Terry. Good to uh, have you here from Birmingham. Uh, Caroline, thanks for joining Caroline. So Caroline always does some amazing things with her software too. Um, Joanne Banco, you guys know Joanne over at Let's Go Sew. Um, thanks for being here, Joanne. Good to see you. So um, I, now that we've said hi, and I think we've had a little bit of time to have most everybody join, um, let's see what we're going to talk about today. So today's um, software that I am featuring is our Perfect Stitch Viewer. And this program is, it is really simplistic and it's not an embroidery editing program, although it does actually turn on some features in our embroidery tool shed that does give you some editing capability. And I'll show you what I mean for, by that. But um, the Perfect Stitch Viewer file uh, or program, sorry, that we're talking about today is an icon viewer program. So you may have seen something similar to this, um, or maybe you own Perfect Stitch Viewer already, but what it does is it takes your um, designs and turns them into images for you know, lack of better word. Um, but normally whenever you don't have something that views embroidery file formats, then you will see a little, um, image of usually the program that opens that software, like you see in the list over there to the left. And then um, if you have something that does recognize that file format, it will display a preview of that image, which is what we see as those little images that you see there on the right. Um, and our Perfect Stitch Viewer, not only that, but if you turn on your details tabs, um, you can see information about the C2S file. So um, I can see what size files they are um, and um, also how many colors and how many stitches are in those files. And I can do all of this without opening a program. Now, another really awesome addition is being able to see 
cut files as well. So SVG files, FCM files, artwork type files that we are starting to use more and more of. Not only are we uh, turning them into embroidery, but we're using them in our digital cutters. It can also display those too. And I'll show you that as well. So Perfect Stitch Viewer um, is a program that installs on your computer, just like all of our other software. And you actually get to use it without even running um, anything extra. It's running in the background all the time. It does support all, all major embroidery stitch formats. Uh, so it's not just our um, file types that are native to our dime software. It can see any stitch file format for any brand of embroidery machine out there. Um, by seeing those images, it does make it easier, I think, to sort and find your designs because you can see them without opening every single one, um, which is really nice. And uh, you don't, you're not just looking at some random file name um, of the, the design. So not only that, but it does also work for Windows and Mac. Um, and for Mac, uh, it's the icons that you're going to be uh, using to uh, turn those uh to see those images and we're going to see it on windows today, but uh, certainly you can use this on Mac as well. And just like any other dime software updates are free. So if you are, um, newer to our software success, um, let's talk about embroidery tool shed really quick because today's, um, software, the perfect stitch viewer, because it doesn't, um, really, it doesn't, it's not an editing program. It's just that file viewer it still installs inside of our dime embroidery tool shed. So let me tell you a little bit about this, just in case you're new or fairly new, or you missed some of the very first um, software success about what exactly embroidery tool shed is. So when we refer to embroidery tool shed, it is actually a free program from Dime that will allow you to open all stitch file formats. It'll also allow you to resize, rotate, um, put two designs on the screen together, um, and save them out to any file format. So this is actually a pre a free program called Embroidery Toolshed. And every single Dime software that you purchase, when you install it or you activate it inside of Embroidery Toolshed, it is putting all your tools in one place. That's why we call it the tool shed. It holds all of your tools. So if you own two pieces of dime software, they are both inside of embroidery tool shed and all features are together in that one location, which makes it even more powerful with each piece that you own. So the free version, what can you do with it? Well, you can copy, paste, resize, rotate. You can change colors uh, for your designs. You can save and open um, file formats for all brands of embroidery machines. It'll also allow you to convert between thread uh, brands as well. It has a stitch simulator, simulator, you can print templates and also a design analyzer. Now I'm showing you all of this because when you install Perfect Stitch Viewer, it actually believe it or not, add some features to your embroidery tool shed, even though it doesn't seem like it does. So I want everyone to understand, especially if we've got any newbies out there, what exactly it um, will do. So, and this is just a little clip of merging uh, designs together there and changing, rotating. So just kind of as a visual, so embroidery tool shed is like the mothership or, or it's the, well, it's the tool shed, right? So embroidery tool shed is the shed that holds all of our dime tools. Now dime has like 15 different software I think we're up to now. And every single one of those have varying features. But when you activate one, all your features show up inside of Embroidery Toolshed. And Perfect Stitch Viewer is uh, one of those programs. So it actually adds a little bit more features to your Embroidery Toolshed. So I just wanted everybody to be aware of that. If we've got any newbies out there that haven't um, been with us since the beginning of Software Success, so I just kind of wanted to give that basics and um, kind of maybe remind some of you guys that are familiar um, with the um, embroidery tool shed. It sometimes, you know, is I think a little bit confusing. So let's head over and see what um, our perfect stitch viewer does. And then I'm going to show you in embroidery tool shed what uh, 
what things that it adds to your embroidery tool shed. So I'm going to go over um, to my shared screen here and I'm just going to minimize this stuff here so that we can see my uh, file. Okay. So you guys know when you are on your uh, computer and you're in your file explorer. So in windows, you probably have a little folder either on your desktop or either um, down here in the tray where I'm clicking my blinking my cursor there. But the file folder is where we locate our files. Okay. So I'm going to go to my, let's go, let's go back to our here. So I'm going to go to my C drive and then I've got a folder called dime and design. So if you've installed any embroidery software from dime, you have this folder also. So when I click it, you can see I've got lots of folders inside of there, but I do have some files. So to view the files, those files are actually embroidery design. So if I click on my view option here and change it to, um, small, medium, large, or extra large icons, you'll be able to see the um, designs as images. Well, maybe not small, um, but uh, there you go. You can see it whenever you go medium or larger. Now, me personally, I just go right to the extra large icons. And if I scroll down, you can even see a little bit of preview of what's in my folders. But take a look at these uh, designs here that are in my folder. So this is uh, these two, actually these three designs here are designs that come with the installation of Embroidery Toolshed, whether it's free or whether you've purchased any um, additional pieces of our Dime software. But you can see how I can see those as images there. Now, one additional step. So this is what Perfect Stitch Viewer does for you. Instead of viewing uh, them as a little image like this of the program that opens them by changing my view to extra large or large or medium, I can see them as images. Now, if I want to move this, this is not a feature of Perfect Stitch Viewer, but for um, your your Windows program, you can simply click and drag it and drop it inside of another folder. So having these be viewed as images does make it easier to organize your designs because you can see them, right? Even if the name is something strange. But now let me open up a, another folder. So I'm going to go in to my inspiration collections here and I'm going to go into this butterfly option. Now you can see that if I go up, um, you can see that these are all folders and I don't have any design files in this subfolder. I have to drill down to the next folder in order to see my designs. So because this folder that I've created are the butterfly designs. So you can see all of the images. I have two different file types in this folder. I have a C2S and a PES. It's the same exact design, only um, two different file formats, and it views both of them. Now I'm going to go up because I know that someone out there is thinking, <laughs> even if you're not saying it, you're wondering if it views designs that are not uh, native to our program and they absolutely it does. So this is a design collection that I own um, and you can see when I open it up it shows those as images as well. So any stitch file format for an embroidery machine it does recognize those and you can see them as little images. Okay so I'm going to go back up. I'm just clicking the up arrow. Up means to go to the directory um, right above um, so you can see, and I like to have mine view here because I can see my location right here in my toolbar. And so I'm going to go back to our designs folder. So I'm back in my C dime designs folder and I'm going to go down to that uh, ETS butterfly. So that way I know all of you guys have this butterfly. So we'll work with this so that uh, you can duplicate this at home if you want to play around with uh, with this, if you have Perfect Stitch Viewer. Okay, so here my, my ETS butterfly um, I have. So I want to click the um, option. So if I click this dot, 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 it gives me... Um, the, whoop, no, I'm sorry, I'm on the wrong one, view. I, I want to click view 
And then down here in the view, I have, I'm on Windows 11, so that's the setup I'm using. I have detail pane and preview pane. So if I click the detail pane, you can see that it actually shows up over here to the right. I'm going to scroll back down so we can see that I've got my ETS butterfly selected. And it actually tells me um, the this is a... Um, um, design, embroidery design, and it also tells me how many stitches as well as how many color changes and the size of the design right here. And I can see all of that for any C2S file without opening. Now, these details, you do not get as many details if it is a stitch file format that's not our native format. So just know that for sure. Um, but <clears throat> I like to be able to see this because I can scroll through my designs. I can see the number of stitches, how how big that design is in case I am looking for a design that is um, of a certain size or has a few color changes because I'm in a hurry. OK, so now that is what your perfect stitch viewer does is it displays these as images. This detail pane here is actually a feature of Windows. Explorer. It is just populated by Perfect Stitch Viewer. So it's a really nice, handy program. And you can see that right now I'm not in any embroidery software. I am just simply in the file folder location to be able to click on uh, these designs, see them as images, and see those details. Okay. So now let's go to Embroidery Toolshed because I want to talk about um, what uh, a few things that this actually does for us. Okay, so because Perfect Stitch Viewer is installed inside of Embroidery Toolshed, I actually have a few more icons here than I would have if I only owned the free Embroidery Toolshed. So I am going to... Uh, open this butterfly here. So I'm going to double click it and it will bring it onto my workspace. Okay. You can also click and drag it onto your workspace if you want, but that's two different methods in opening uh, the design. Okay. So I'm going to do my undo and take away that second butterfly um, because I want to work with this one. So now if I want to add some keywords to this design so that I can maybe find this design easier, when you open the design and you click somewhere in this blank space, so I'm just going to click in the white area, you can see that in my properties box, and this is actually the case with all of your Dime software that you own, not just Perfect Stitch Viewer. You guys know I like to share things that work with uh, more than one program. So if you have a part of your design selected, it brings up the appropriate properties for that type of stitch. But if you click here in the white space, you can see that I now have notes and keywords. Okay. So you can make notes about this design if you want. So maybe it was an applique design um, and you wanted uh, to make a note about, you know, the, the applique or the applique fabric that you use or something like that. The keywords actually will um, register as tags in your file explorer. Okay. So I'm going to do a couple of tags here and then we'll answer some questions and then we'll come back uh, and see more of this here. So here I'm going to put um, butterfly. Um, so tags are um, their data or um, information that's kind of embedded with the design. And you can put tags and then locate designs with those tags if you want. Um, and it's different than the file name. And I'll show you where these show up. So I'm going to say butterfly. When I think butterflies, I also think spring. So I'm going to put spring. Um, maybe you want to put the colors, like if you're looking for a blue butterfly or pink butterfly and you can't remember. So just anything you want to say about this design, maybe you used it on a certain person's uh, gift and you want to put that in there. And then when you click apply, it will then save that to the um, data for this design. So let me show you exactly where that shows up. And here's another tip um, when uh, working with any dime software. So here you can see we use this butterfly here and it's in our designs folder. Now, instead of going to my folder down here, 
which I definitely could. I can also right mouse click on the word design and say show contents. And it will actually go right to that folder that we're using. So, and it opened it up and then there's my butterfly design. Okay, so now I'm going to change my view again. So I'm going to do view and details. And then I'm going to hide my detail pane here and let's scroll down and you can see that I have uh, my tags turned on. And so those tags usually show up here. So let me go back and go in and maybe I didn't save it. We're going to try that again. Don't you love live when things don't work out as it should? So let me go back over here and to our software, make sure our keywords are there. Make sure I click apply and uh, save my design. Maybe that's what I didn't do. And then let's go back to our folder. So I'm just going to switch screens here and there are my tags. Okay. So I'm going to make this a uh, little window wider so we can see everything. So, um, so this column tags is something that you can view by doing a right mouse click and making sure it is checked here and it'll show any of those things that you've put about that design. So that's another way that you can make notes and organize and uh, really try to, you know, um, keep your, your designs in some sort of orderly fashion. You can also search tags. Um, if I remember correctly, I haven't done this in a while. I do think that you have to put tag and then the um, uh, colon and then the word. So let's try butterfly. And there it is. So it found that word um, in the tag. Oh, let me use a word that's not in the name. Do you see the name is ETS Butterfly? When you do a search, it's always going to search names. But let's just check this by searching uh, something that's not in the name. So, oh, oh. well, we'll have to do that again. The My file explorer just had a little hiccup. So I'm going to go over here just to get to it easily. I'm going to right mouse click on my designs and say show content and it'll open up my uh, design. And so there again, there's our butterfly with the tags. But this time I'm going to say tag and um, let's do blue because that's not in the butterfly. And there it goes. So it did find it based on those tags. So if you every time you save your design, um, if you put some keywords in there, you can search those um, in your Windows File Explorer, just like you see there. So really cool, right? So an easy way to help get your, your designs. And it definitely is not loving that. So it just uh, closed that out again. So my, um, my Windows Explorer. So those tags will help you um, in organizing your designs. I know organizing is not the easiest and the most fun part. So, <laughs> but if you're working on your design and you just put some tags in there and save it all at one time, if you work on it as you go, it'll definitely, um, I think, be easier overall. So let's see if we have any questions and uh, then we'll get back to seeing some other things that'll do. So, um, and then, hey, Susan. Susan says she loves the free updates. Um, I've had this for years and years. So thank you. So yes, I definitely agree. I think Dime is very generous with free new features and also making sure that it always works with current version of Windows and Mac so you don't have to repurchase later on. So thanks. That's really a kind word for sure. So, and Karen says, do you have to ensure all design files are unzipped? Yes, it will not view um, zipped files. So you do have to have them unzipped and a um, an increasingly um, popular problem is that uh, cloud folders. So it looks at designs that are local. Things that are in cloud folders like your Microsoft OneDrive that links to your computer or your OneDrive, whatever you use or your iCloud, um, those files, depending on how you have it set up, they don't actually live on your computer. They live in the cloud, which is a um, server somewhere far, far away. And when you access those, you might see that it says you have to download it or it takes a little bit longer. That's because a physical copy is not being stored on your computer and that's why they won't view it. So if you're noticing that you're not seeing it in certain folders, make sure it's not a cloud folder. But yes, zip folders, you do need to have them unzipped. So that's a really good 
a good question. So, and then Vicki says, what thread do you choose to use brother thread? Um, well, um, that's a good question. So we'll go look at that list when we go back over there, uh, Linda, about the brother thread. I use Dimes Exquisite thread, so I don't necessarily know, but we can take a look and see what's over there. But if it doesn't specifically say brother, it's not going to be the uh, probably the exact color palette. Um, but if you're not specific about a color number, you can really use any color palette. Me, I use my exquisite because I own that thread, but certainly you could just use any palette and have a pink or purple, you know, and then you pull your thread color is another option. But I'll take a look when we go back over there. So um, let's see what other uh, questions that we might have here. Um, and then uh, Carolyn Marlowe says, where is the details choice that you mentioned earlier? So under the view option and then details pane. So, and um, if you can't find it, Carolyn, I can go back and show you again. You can always re-watch this replay, but it's under the view and details pane. Um, Sherry says, does this program adjust the stitching if you decrease the size of the design? It absolutely does, Sherry. When you resize, it will uh, regenerate the stitch count. So if it needs to remove, um, it will. Um, and we can take a look at that too when we head back over. So very good questions. And then Sandy says, what's the difference between double clicking and dragging the design? I'm glad you asked that. So when you go back over, I will uh, show you that. That's another really great question. Um, uh, what else have we got here? Any other questions before we head back over there? So Laura says, uh, will the tag keywords work with uh, work with besides C2S. It does not, Laura, because that's the native file for our program. We have more control over that file format so we can insert those tags into uh, the metadata of the file. So it will not work with your PES uh, file format, your VP3, all of those file formats that go to the embroidery machine. Uh, you, you, we cannot save tags to those from our using our Perfect Stitch Viewer. So for me, even if you purchase a design that is a PES file, you can open it insert tags and save it as a C2S. Just remember by saving a machine file format to a C2S file, it's not converting it to a, a, a C2S file format as the stitches are concerned. Um, I know that's very confusing, but it will save it at that file type that you can then, you know, add tags, but it is still originally a machine format. So really good question, Laura. Uh, do we have a, a tag the design or are some designs pre-tagged? So I am not sure of a digitizer that pre-tags their designs. So um, you would need to add tags to them there may be someone out there, but I don't know of any myself. So really good question. Um, and DD says, Does, uh, I also have perfect perfect lace maker. So the My Lace Maker software, and I can't get much help from customer service getting it installed. Have the program couldn't set up at purchase. A uh, wallet was stolen. Oh my, DD, I am uh, really uh, sorry that you had that happen. So if you've got your serial number or they can locate your serial number, then we should be able to help you uh, get it installed. Um, reach out to them again and, um, and, you know, maybe some things have changed. I, I'm not sure there, but our customer service actually is really good and, and usually will work really hard to get you taken care of if it's uh, within their powers. And so um, maybe reach out again in case something got missed. So, hey, Marianne, um, she said she stores all her designs on my computer and the cloud. That's actually very smart. So because then you've got a backup. <laughs> so I love that uh, for sure. And then, uh, um, Joanne Banco says, just download the latest free update. Is there a way to see what the update is included? So Joanne, yes. So the, the latest update um, was just adding an actually uh, a program that we'll be releasing um, this week. 
but that was the major part of it or you know it's that ability is built in um, for that new program but also um, the icon that was the other thing that I noticed is the wireless icon changed from a cord to a little sewing machine with the Wi-Fi symbol um, but other than that I don't think there was many updates it was really just the addition of a program that's uh, coming up this week for release so um, so you guys will hear about that pretty soon and then how do you get them out of the cloud and back on your computer? Hey, Julie, that's another really good question. The cloud is a mystery. So more and more um, areas of your computer are automatically linking to the cloud in order to um, make sure that your files are backed up. Um, if you don't want them in a cloud folder, um, moving them to your C drives, that folder that we use for our designs, the C Dime Designs is a good place to put them. It is not linked to the cloud, but these days, even your desktop is linked to the cloud, your documents, your photos, all of those are linked to the, the cloud. So if you copy them from the cloud, move them like to a folder on your C drive, then you know that they're on your folder. But I kind of agree with Marianne, maybe leave a copy, um, you know, in the cloud so that you've got a backup there as well. So. Um, so yeah, really good question. Um, you can always also turn off the uh, cloud for syncing, but you know that's a that's a whole tech support thing. But um, but really, just copying them to your C drive will will make sure that you can view them and see them. So lots of really good questions. Okay, and so we'll answer a couple more, and then we'll go back over there and see. We'll uh, answer a couple of those questions that we had earlier. So Reen says, "I love my Dime uh, software stored in ETS. Genius. I definitely agree. I like having everything in one place for sure. So and then Joyce says, um, "I'm sorry if this is stupid." question no such thing Joyce so if you ask it it's a good question is perfect if you are separate program hey that's not a dumb question at all it is a separate program you do not need any other dime software to purchase uh, perfect stitch viewer um, when you purchase it and install it then you are good to go you don't need to buy a whole bunch of other things and I think that that's a fantastic question because chances are there are other people that have that question too. So I'm glad, glad, glad that you asked it. So let's go over and take a look at the, the threads, but also answer Sandy's question about dragging uh, the designs versus double clicking. So we'll go back over and then I'll show you a few more things here with the, um, the uh, Perfect Stitch Viewer. Um, and then we'll answer some more questions. So let me close this out and start over. Okay. So now in embroidery tool shed, you can see that I can see my images here as well. So in the design library, um, I can also view them for here. Now this is completely separate from perfect stitch viewer. Perfect stitch viewer allows me to be able to see them in my file folder, uh, um, structure that is my windows explorer. So there are, that's two different scenarios. So, the C Dime Designs folder here, you can see my butterfly here, but then I can also see these over here in my design library as long as I've got them in my C Dime Designs folder. That's where this folder links. So then anything that I have in these folders, and you can see I have a very long list of, of uh, different folders and categories and things like that any of them, I can select these and see those designs right here as well. So now the difference in opening and just clicking and dragging are um, you're opening the exact file location when you double click. So you can see when I double click, my tab right here says ETS Butterfly C2S, and so does the design file name here. So what I've done is I've opened up that exact file. So any changes that I make here, I could simply click save and it will automatically update this file. So um, that is double clicking the file and opening it. Okay, so now let's open up a new page here. If I click and drag this onto the screen, you can see that this says design two. It's not in any way linked to this exact file. So right now, if I were to make any changes or mess this up or, or you know, whatever, or just change it because I wanted to, I would need to resave this as a different file format. Now, of course, if I choose that same name and location, it will overwrite it, but it 
won't override it automatically like this one will, because this one is um, already knows that it's this exact file. So if I just simply change, let's just change here. I'm going to change the body of the butterfly to uh, pink and then click save. And then now you can see my little image over here is pink. Let me change the orange to a different color. I'm going to change the orange to green so maybe we can see it a little bit better. And then I'm going to click the save icon and you can see that it updated that exact file. Okay. So now I like doing that if I know that I'm going to be making changes to a file, but sometimes I want to manipulate things and I don't want to overwrite the original. So clicking and dragging it on screen, if I were to change uh, this one here, let's change the, the blue to green and I click OK. When I click save, it asks me now, where do you want to save this? Because it's not already a saved file. OK, so hopefully that helps you um, there. Now let's talk about resizing the file. So in Embroidery Toolshed, this is actually a feature of the free program. And certainly it, if you have Perfect Stitch Viewer, it's there. But notice here I've got uh, 4554 is my stitch count. So up here in the top uh, um, information area, like this information bar about my design, it tells me the height, the uh, stitches, the width, height and width, stitches, colors, stops and trims all in this information. So if I click and drag this larger and release, you can see that that number went up to 7443. So now it actually added stitches so I wouldn't have any holes. Now let's do the opposite. So here's a, a tip that I share all the time to bring something uh, to fit your screen, double click your zoom tool and it'll put everything on the screen in the center. And now if I click and drag it smaller, so we've got 7443, so I'm going to make it smaller here. And now we're down to 2659 stitches. So it does recalculate the stitches. You can turn that off by clicking this regenerate stitches. You can uh, uncheck that and then it will not do that. So it's really up to you if you need to resize or not. Okay, so now if you have the free embroidery tool shed, uh, two things that you don't have that I think are very um, uh, powerful and worth the the um, money that you're going to spend on Perfect Stitch Viewer is the Send to Brother and Baby Lock embroidery machines, but also the group and ungroup. Okay, so now let me uh, group this together and I'll show you what I mean. Now, actually, let me bring in another design because there's one that I really love. I'm going to start a new page again and then let's uh, go down. You do have this design, too, and it's just a really good example. So in the um, your perfect embroidery pro free designs, there's actually a file down here called perfect embroidery pro a library. Uh, I'm sorry, a folder. And there's lots of free designs in here, but I'm going to use this cupcake or this. Oh my gosh, I can't talk today. I'm going to use this coffee cup here um, to show you about the, the group and ungroup and, and why it's so powerful. Okay. So with Perfect Stitch Viewer, it actually turns on the group and ungroup options. So with the free embroidery tool shed, you cannot ungroup a design. Being able to ungroup it allows you to do some editing. So if you see here, when I click and move, the whole design goes wherever I move it. But if I ungroup it, then I can actually just select individual pieces of the design and I can delete those if I want. So this coffee cup, for instance, if we go over here to our sequence view, I can select the steam and then I'm just going to delete it. Right mouse click delete or press the delete on your keyboard. Um, that is the steam on the top. So if I do right mouse click delete, you could, so I actually have the ability to edit some of the uh, designs. Not every editing capability is in here for Perfect Stitch Viewer, but it actually does turn some things on that gives you some editing capabilities inside of Embroidery Toolshed. OK, and and then also if you do have a brother and a, a, or a baby lock wireless capable embroidery machine, it will send the design wirelessly as well, which is really awesome for the price of this. You also get these alignment tools, which are not in the free embroidery tool shed as well. OK, so now the color palette. So 
I'm going to click on um, one of my color chips down here. So let me just click on this uh, yellow one. And when I bring that up, so this design was originally digitized in Madeira. So it brought in that color palette for me. Um, and so if we scroll up here, here is the brother embroidery thread. So I can change to brother and then select those colors from there as well. So hopefully that helps. Um, um, with the selection of the embroidery thread that Vicky was uh, asking about. So you can choose brother from that list. And then when you click OK, um, it's basically converting that one color to uh, gold. Now I'm going to press the minus key here. I'll show you guys another trick that works in all dime software down here in the color palette. If I click on the change palette icon here, it brings up the list of all of these um, threads. Now, if you want to change all of these at one time, so like I said, these came in as Madeira, but I use Exquisite. So if I scroll down to my Exquisite Thread Palette 40, you can see that it converted all of them at one time. So it found the color in my Exquisite collection that is closest to the color of the previous thread palette. And so now each of these colors are exquisite. And you could do the same exact thing if you wanted to switch that to the Brother Embroidery Thread Colors. Just choose that and you can see it switched to that brand for me and click OK. So pretty cool, right? Um, and so like I said, this is a very simplistic software, but to me, it really has some power behind it, um, even though it doesn't seem like it does much. So let's see uh, what other questions we have here, um, if we need to answer anything else on the Perfect Stitch Viewer. Um, and Kathy says, how do you bring your embroidery files from Windows into Embroidery Toolshed? So really good question, Kathy. It's not about bringing them um, into Embroidery Toolshed. You either are going to individually open the file into Embroidery Toolshed, and that puts that single file on your workspace, or that little window over there that I was using, that is viewing a location on my computer that is under the folder path C dime designs. When I go back over there, I'll show you uh, one more time on that so that you can see how to get them over there. And then, hey, my friend Bet. so she says, so is ETS, it will recalculate stitches on any design. Yes, it will. Even if it is a stitch file format from a, another designer, Bet, it sure will. It'll recalculate those stitches. So really good question there. Um, and here we got uh, Weba, Weba. Uh, I'm new to machine embroidery. What software should I start with? Oh, that's a really good question. I actually think Perfect Stitch Viewer is a great place to start because generally when we first start, you are going to acquire a lot of designs where they're free or you purchase some and um, being able to open them up in Embroidery Toolshed, um, you can ungroup them and resize them and rotate like you're seeing what we're doing today. And the Perfect Stitch Viewer is $99. If you do want to purchase um, something that has fonts in it, um, I would then recommend the Embroidery Toolshed Plus. So let me flip over here to this little shopping cart. So down here in the bottom right, you see this little shopping art cart icon. This is all the programs that Dime owns. So I'm using today the Perfect Stitch Viewer and it will give you some basic um, editing capabilities and you're able to view your files. But we also have the Embroidery Toolshed Plus. This was a new addition to Dime Software Library or Family, Software Family, um, that does um, allow you some basic editing capabilities and also it adds fonts. There are um, 17 built-in fonts, a combination of monogram, applique, there's even a puffy font in there. So the Embroidery Toolshed Plus is another uh, great place to start if you think you need fonts uh, whenever you're starting out, you know, with embroidery. You can also start with the free Embroidery Toolshed, play around with that, um, and then make your decision on which one you think would be best for you. But I have to say, the perfect stitch viewer that we're talking about today, being able to see your files as icons to me really is worth its weight as gold uh, or the icons as images is worth its weight in gold. Okay. So now to answer uh, the question um, that Kathy asked about bringing your files in. So Kathy, you can do file and open 
or file and merge. Merge will put it on the same page with my cup and open will put it on a new page. Okay, so whichever uh, there. And then if you want to see all the files like I have down here in the bottom right, it's really about the location on your computer. So to be able to see them like I have them here, all you need to do is copy and paste your entire folder library of your designs under the C dime design. So I'm going to do this again. I'm going to do a right mouse click. And if you can't remember that, open up your embroidery tool shed, go over here to the designs. I'm in the little book icon designs, do a right mouse click and say show contents and it'll open the exact folder. And so up here in the very top, I have mine set up so I can see the path. So this is on my PC under my C dime design. So anything that I put in this folder, I can see down here in this library of designs here. So, and before I forget about it, I don't want this funky color butterfly. So I'm going to do my undo key and then resave him so that, oh, not print. You can also print a template, but I'm going to do a uh, save. So I correct him over here in my, uh, my file. So hopefully that helps answer uh, your questions there. Very good questions that everybody has. So uh, I was just looking back to see if there's anything else and um, we already answered Joyce's question about it being a standalone program. So I think we are good, right? Okay, so now that we've seen all that, let me just share with you. So Perfect Stitch Viewer is our special program today. It is $99 um, and you can purchase it over at our, um, at, on our, not our Facebook page, on our dzgns.com site. But I always, always, always urge you to check with your local dime dealer. Go in there, tell them that you saw a demonstration on Perfect Stitch Viewer, you loved it and you want it. Um, and then if they don't have it in store, they certainly can get it for you and offer you an awesome uh, price on it. So that is a an option as well. Um, get it from your local dealer. Um, I always love to support and, and buy local if I can. Okay, so in a couple of weeks, I will see you back here on April 16th. And we are going to be talking about the um, Amelie Scott Edge to Edge plugin for my quilt planner. So that is a new plugin program to our my quilt planner that uses the Amelie Scott edge to edge method of planning. And so we're going to be going over that in two weeks to, uh, to see that. Um, as well. So, um, and then um, before we um, sign off, I just wanted to see, let's, I see another question popped in from Linda Johnson on my program. I see the product called embroidery special effects. What is it? So Linda, that is a new program that does special effects broidery, um, like uh, fringe and chenille. And um, it has mylar and all kinds of specialty embroidery. Um, you'll hear more about that coming up soon. Um, we are officially releasing it um, tomorrow. So we'll, we'll have more and more information about that as well. So and until we have another software success, um, I'll let you guys go for now and I'll see you in a couple of weeks when we are talking about the Edge to Edge plugin from Amelie Scott Designs. So thank you all for being here and we'll see you next time.